Welcome to Idea Rabbit's channel. Today I'm checking out Miharu Takezakura in Miharu Fukushima, which is in northern Japan. Unfortunately, the weather was not on our side. The bus pass is 700 yen for those who are in junior high and older, which includes round trip to and from the tree. The ride is about 20 minutes one way. Note that the buses running are very, very limited, so don't miss the bus times. My dad and I, along with other tourists, waited for a bus that would take us to Miharu Takuzakura, an iconic cherry blossom tree which is more than a thousand years old, and it can only be viewed in a short period of time from about mid to late April. For this year in 2024, viewing dates were only from April 7th to the 17th. We went on the 8th, and it might have been slightly early, especially because it has been cooler this year, but still got to see quite a bit of blooms. Admission fee to see the tree is 500 yen. Yes, it costs about $5 Canadian to see a single tree. But it is a special tree. It's crazy to think that this tree has been around for over a thousand years and has been taken care of by humans. You can see that there are many pillars helping to support the tree. Unfortunately, it was pouring rain and a lot of people stood under roofs of vendors, which many were not open. There were two buses running to get back to the train station, one at 10.55 a.m. and another at 2.44 p.m. We finished looking before 10 a.m. Had it been a really nice day, we would have hung around and enjoyed an hour more of the area. Maybe vendors would have also been open, where we could have had some coffee and snacks, but they weren't. With nowhere to really rest and being really cold and wet, we contemplated if we would call a cab. An hour to kill in the miserable situation seemed really long. We decided to exit the area and found that there was, by a miracle, a taxi waiting at the very end of the parking lot. My dad went up to him and found that he was available, and so we got a taxi ride back to the train station instead of taking the bus. Again, if it were a nice day out with vendors open, we could have definitely stayed until the bus arrived, but we were drenched, so we were quite happy that we were able to take the only cab that was there. It's hard to plan when the weather and perfect blossoming time is unpredictable, but it's great to see Japan's most famous cherry blossom tree. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.